Welcome to the ISO Builder. Last week we've um, actually completed the list of Arco install. What does that mean? That means that the Arch install, let's uh, boot up with something. That means if we, I've put something on the desk an Arch Linux version, so we're the 8th December and it's the 7th from yesterday. We'll make a new one today. And when we boot into the firmware, into the CD-ROM, we see that we're booting actually in Arch. So Arco install is nothing more than Arch Linux with adapted scripts. The Arch install is a bunch of scripts that lets you install a bare Arch Linux version, right? With uh, minimal, really minimal packages. That's the goal of Arch install. The goal of Arco install is get more desktops and more packages. Because, hey, we got thousand packages on our repo. Why not install them, right? BE is a keyboard or an alias thing that I have for low keys, Belgium, Latin. And Arch is one alias that is going to type basically Arch install dash dash advanced. Two options or an option I'd like because when I do that, I can tell my parallel downloads to be 30. The difference in the Arch install is mainly only in this thing, right? Awesome is not gonna install awesome. It's gonna install Arconix logout, Arconix uh, tweak tool here, the Gleb app glade awesome. The configuration of awesome is gonna be there, right? The configuration of BSPWM is there. Budgie has packages, but not really as such a config. So it's still the look and design of, of Budgie, the default. ChatWM needs something, right? It needs a configuration and it's an app as well cinnamon all kinds of packages that we add to the list in arch install you see four five six packages that's it cute fish did not touch it right it's not working we do not touch it this is often very sick things do not work we do not touch it enlightenment we do not touch it still all arch install so from here Cute fish, deeping and lightning, we keep it in, right? We could also delete it. We keep it in and uh, if we got time, we'll test it out. But right, it will be sick at some point in time. That's our um, feeling that we have the last eight years with deeping. We have something new that we don't have in Arch install, Hyperland. Well, sorry, Hyperland is there, I believe, but it's our Hyperland, right? So yes, it's the same but not the same. It's our packages, our configurations. As you see, it's a long list of packages, right? KDE, same thing, or Plasma, same thing. This is our Plasma, our view on it, our take on it. LXUT, a long list, our take on it. Malte, our take on it. Qtile, we need a configuration for Qtile to work. Sway, it's our configuration on it. It's not the default way. Wayfire, don't have this in Arch install, right? You don't have this in Arch install. So that's the second one. ChatWM is something that we don't have and Wayfire is something we don't have. XFCE, our take on it. Cosmic, well, the greeter works. Then it didn't, then it did it. And then I decided to just get SDM as default. So you can try out the greeter of Cosmic because over time, right, uh, code will be developed and will work again. But um, it's still very much in progress. Eh? It's a project in progress. Let's call it like that. So treat it as such. And i3 is, of course, our take on it. So basically, um, We've touched many of these desktops to become Arch Linux desktops. 
but we're using the arch install well ISO basically we've changed the arch install into an Arco install and what we'd like to do is add for instance DWM to the list and Dusk to the list which are not available in Arch install but we have right <clears throat> so why not add it to the choices so the choices will become longer and um, that's part of the fun it's never gonna replace Calamaris unless Calamaris stops of course right then yes it could replace it but it's still very uh, dark and I mean you still need to figure out of course a few videos and you know what's going on but you can have um, well you have to go through this uh, well it's a GUI right but it's a, a black and a terminal GUI and you still need to know a lot of things about it but then again in Calamaris you need to know that as well it's just um, a different way of doing things and to each his own right to each his own uh, liking the rest like I said not, not, nothing changed only the profile is the only thing we've touched and actually maybe that's a good idea let's go for a power off that's a good idea and a good uh, test for me as well what we do right we have the Argo install dev so the development version that's one and we have the one from Arch Linux. Where is the one from Arch Linux? In the data folder, I've been rearranging my folders. <laughs> so that's the Arch install. And that's the Arco install, but that's the one from GitHub Eric Dubois. At some point in time, we've moved it to say, okay, this is really neat. We get an Arch Linux ISO with our own Arch uh, install scripts which we call them Arco install scripts right so <coughs> we can um, do a arch install an Arco install and an arch install here they are we do a git pull so this is coming from arch Lex. aha new things so let's incorporate it into the new dev version here so things change we can have a look and we see that um, who is the guy somebody right push this online some guy pushes this online they're gonna open up etcpacman.conf I'm gonna write there mirrors the installer right and we compare so super f5 folder this is not for me so the arch install I keep track of their changes their decisions this is same thing but adapted changed right to suit our needs so GitHub, don't care about that. Here it starts. Well, we'll do cover it later. All the rest up there. So for line in result split lines. So the left one is the original one. That's the change. We try to read it, even though it's really not our code. But we're going to import all kind of things fetch data from URL class methods voila that's about the mirrors if something goes wrong then we'll know it's the mirrors mirrors configuration open root and by not just copy pasting every file but reading the changes even though it is still really unreadable for you you do get an idea of what's going on they're gonna schmot things here oh as schmots now it's the doers did so they've worked on the doers directory 
And that's the thing, right? More or less. Uh, they've moved it to the other file. So here it's gone. Don't need to know it as long as they know it. <laughs> right? Let them develop. We try to read it. There is still more. Oh, the bit of code that's now gone. Mirrors. Some tests, mirror region. Oh yeah, there was a typo there. This I could take it with me, but I have more numbers. So Flake gives you, if you install it, of course, if you set it in Visual Studio Code, it will give you these little squirrely lines, red lines on their text. And some of them I don't want to see. So they stopped at 503. I don't want to see E123 and W292 as well. So I kept adding things so I don't want to see the mistakes, basically. But sometimes these messages are not really mistakes. Right. That's the only difference. So we do create the ISO, but we say, hey, you need to be sudo. Let's make sure everything is removed. RS, we remove the temporary file in temp here, the folder, and then article key rings goes in, middle list goes in. We want to have an alias, low keys, BE Latin, BE, Arch, Arch install advanced. So two aliases. And then we'll make sure that the Pac-Man, our Pac-Man, is there. And then it's just business as usual. This is how they create an Arch Linux ISO. So that leaves us <coughs> with XFCE. This is their code. Well, this is our code, right? In order to achieve what we want to achieve, we have to read, write some extra Python code. And uh, the list is a bit longer, right? So I keep track of what's officially that's official right that's official then i say plus i could have put it some somewhere else in another file or up, up somewhere up there right but this list is what i can just copy paste everywhere here stops another one so this bunch will be installed on any desktop tiling manager doesn't matter right and then it's still thinking okay what's more and um, install the extras okay they make decisions here if you don't if you don't select the greeter so the display manager it's going to go default to lightium we've decided i think all of them until now right the greeter is sdm if you don't select it you can go in there and say i want a slick greeter i want lightium but i just don't fill it in and I will have SDM. So that's uh, saving us some time if you don't want to change. So this is basically what it's done everywhere. So Wayfire, of course, stands on its own. It's not a, nothing to compare. Chat WM, there's nothing to compare. And it's basically uh, more or less, uh, this one is, Wayfire is based on Hypeland with some extra changes. And Chat WM, I think I've took one of the tiling when I managed not sure which one I took and then I started writing extra code right so budget for example one extra example extra things to import a long list of things I want and maybe a word about this we want to scale always so we are going to go into the folder etc scale copy paste everything to the home otherwise chat wm will, will not work i3 will not work etc right all the tiling window managers often have a config somewhere and now we have to make sure that we are in control so it says eric group eric in home everywhere defaulting to sdm so basically that's our our scale command in python so there you go. That's uh, maybe enough for an introduction video. I'd like to make a second video now for DWM and why not do Dusk in the same time because they're the same, right? 
TWM and Dusk. So we get four extra new guys. This is a new guy. That's a new guy that Arch install doesn't have. And TWM and Dusk, the extra two. All right. So that's what we're doing. If you didn't know, right, it's still quite, 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 quite um, Arch Linux based. And if you, well, the logo, right, there's, I could, I could add one extra um, file in there and overwrite the Arch Linux logo with the Article Linux logo. And that's it, right? Then <laughs> we would be on Article Linux. But it's not, right? It's still the, very much the Arch uh, logo that's there. It's a beautiful logo and we're proud to be an Arch. All right, cheers.